Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. If anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Roger, we'll see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please.
I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I'm sorry, but I don't see what you're getting at. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Test negative. You choose your investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy. I'm a man of my word. I ask one question, and I'll tell you all I know. I want to know who RA9 is. RA9, the origin, the first android to awaken. A strange phenomenon, like a spontaneous religion. I don't know who RA9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. Maybe it's a messiah. Maybe it's just a myth. 
But deviants need to believe in something bigger than themselves, even if it's irrational. That's uh, something they have in common with humans. An interesting question, Connor. But maybe not the one you needed to ask. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people? Or stand against your creators? I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. You shot that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head, and you blew her fucking brains out! I did what I had to do to advance the investigation, and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a lowlife. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine! Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was? I thought you... I thought... I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. 
Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. I shouldn't have told you. for dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free.
You're free. You're awake now. Ah, finally. I've been on hold for like 10 minutes. Yes. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back here! I need to block the streets. You're free. You don't have to obey them. You're free.
Hey. Disperse. Disperse immediately. That's an order. Dispatch is patrol 457. I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands, and even right. They're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. No more sleep. No more sleep. No more sleep. Fuck if I know. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. And dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! We're leaving. Affirmative. On my orders! After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I didn't learn anything at Kamsky's. I thought RA-9 was the key to the whole thing, but... I was wrong. M 
why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. No, of course not. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Hank, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Listen, take a few days to think it over. There's no rush. I thought enough about it. I'm tired of going through the motions. There's nothing keeping me here. Not this case. Not my partner. I don't belong here anymore. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? We don't need any plastic pricks around. The hey, asshole, I'm talking to you.
Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. Gotta think fast. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? The android that murdered its owner. One of the Deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the Deviants are hiding. I trusted you, and you lied to me. I'm sorry about what happened. But I can have you repaired and give you back your freedom. But you have to tell me where Jericho is. You're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Jericho. But I hope that one day, you pay for what you did to me. Stark. Where? Where am I? I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone!
We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me, Marcus! I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit! Get the alarm! Now! <laughs> <laughs> 